Welcome everyone to the Acrylic Asylum. I'm Mike Ferris and in this painting lesson I'll be showing you the basic tones of these orange and brown colors as well as a very simple and effective way to achieve a bokeh out of focus look which will be contrasted with in focus details to create this realistic eye photography painting. Also don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of colors and materials. So getting started on my 11 by 14 inch pre-stretched canvas, I have paper cut to my size and I have one inch squares that are numbered vertically and horizontally here. And just to help to lay out the proportionate drawing of the eye and get everything where it should be. And I did put a short video link in the description box below on how to transfer images to my canvas and check that out for more info. I took black wax transfer paper and a stylus for that. So now I have my 3 8 angle brush and with that tip and those other bristles out of the way and this nice crisp edge, I'm going to be able to hit these eyelashes very well with crisp lines. So now getting started I have primary red, cad yellow, permanent black, titanium white, phthalo blue, raw umber, burnt umber, and cad orange. So I'm going to just start off with just plain old permanent black here. I'm going to drag the brush through and wiggle it and pull it through and it gives this nice crisp line that you can see there and that's going to give me nice precision on these eyelashes and so we'll be starting off with that to block that in. So with more pressure on the angle brush, as I come up, I'm doing even lighter pressure as I come up and just dragging just the tip of it, barely touching the canvas, and that brings it to that nice tip at the end. Okay, now I'm changing my script liner brush here and you want lots of water on it. So I'm gonna drag it through with lots of water on the script liner and I'm gonna pull it through and turn it at the same time. And as I do that, it comes to a nice fine tip like so. And so with this, as I turn the brush and just use the tip of it, I'm gonna be able to create these more finer lines and indications of more eyelashes here. Okay, so just a quick dry on medium heat and then we'll proceed to the background colors. Okay, now that we're dry, I'm taking a number 18 flat brush here and with this, I wanna mix up some of this phthalo blue and just a little raw umber into that. This is gonna be sort of an off blue, sort of bluish gray, Payne's gray and taking some white to that now, I want it very light. So with this now, I'm gonna go down the background and I'm gonna to totally cover up over these eyelashes now. And so what's gonna happen is, as you'll see, it's transparent enough where you can still see the eyelashes through this background color. And I wanted to do this on purpose because as you can see, it's gonna fade them out and make them look kind of fuzzy, like they're kind of getting fuzzed out into the background like so, but you can still see it through it. And this is what's gonna to start to create this bokeh out of focus effect. So with some of these eyelashes, I'm gonna take some solid black and go back in and redefine them, and others I'm gonna leave faded like this, and this is gonna be what contrasts the in focus and out of focus. So now just picking up titanium white, and right here where the face and the background meet, I wanna do this little line here to show some of that bokeh effect. So now I'm gonna take some of this burnt umber and cad orange, and to that, a little bit of red now, and then also some cad yellow to that as well. And then I want some titanium white in there to bring it up. So I'm looking for this really warm, peachy, sort of skin tone color. And with this, let's go now a little bit more orange to that and red. And we'll just make this a little bit more vibrant. 
So something about like so, and let's go ahead and start blocking in. And again, I'm not worried about covering up the eyelashes because you will be able to see through this. And again, I'm not gonna bring all of this to focus again, but I wanna make some of them faded with this color. And again, others that are redefined with the solid black and have that out of focus and in focus contrasting. Okay, just picking up some more cad red now just to have it more on the red side here and right here where it's a little bit darker and away from our light source i'm just going to lightly use pressure on my brush and fade that up like so okay and with that same value now i'm going to go down this right here and let's just fill some more stuff in And without cleaning, just picking up some titanium white. And again, where the face and the background meet, I just want to drag that down and that enhances this bokeh photography. So up close, as you can see, this fuzzy line between the background and face here. And this is what you want for that bokeh out of focus look. You know, just picking up some permanent black and let's fill in some more things right here. So grabbing permanent black and as you can see, I'm going back over some of these eyelashes, not all of them because again, I want some of them in focus. And as you can see, the ones in focus have these solid lines and then of course the other ones that are faded is what gives that bokeh indication and the contrast between the detailed and out of focus ones. So with the rest of the paint left on the brush, there's just a little bit. And with that, I'm just gonna drag it over lightly and sort of dry brush. And with this, this creates a variety of differences on faded lines and some of the solid lines. Now with a clean brush, I'm grabbing some burnt umber and some yellow and just a little bit of orange. You can see how much I'm wiping off, not that much. And now some titanium white to that. So with that, I'm gonna take and drag that in right here where there's gonna be some light striking against the face like so. And also as I drag that over some of these dark eyelash lines here, this is gonna show again some more bokeh effect as it fades over it. Okay, now that we can see some of these bokeh things, let's take a clean brush and phthalo blue with some permanent black in there now and some titanium white. This is a very light Payne's gray. It's more to the blue side, as you can see. And let's fill in the eye with this. So no cleaning and just titanium white. Let's go on the right side right here and let's create this side of the eye with a lighter value.
And with that light value left on my brush, I'm just gonna lightly again drag that down and I wanna make this bokeh dramatic effect a little bit more. Okay, and so also right here, gonna drag some of that light value as well. And it's raining super hard here in Hawaii because that's what it does. So I decided to let it ride. Okay, now I'm just gonna pick up permanent black and let's fill in the pupil right here. Okay, back to my script liner brush again lots of water and with permanent black i am going to take and make the indications of some of these eyelashes that are going to be reflecting in the eye Okay, and however you want to make these, this is just maybe some landscape or some bushes that are reflecting in the eye like right here. So however you want to put that in. Okay, let's block in the eye now with some cat orange and burnt umber together. And this is going to have this orange brown tone to it for a realistic looking brown sort of hazel eye color. And now just picking up pure raw umber and with this dark value, just gonna go around the edge of the eye here and I'll slightly dust it up a little bit on the bottom and this will show some more dimension and some more round 3D effect. Okay, going back to that raw umber and phthalo blue and some white, that's our background color more or less, and let's fill in around the eye right here. Okay, now just picking up some more of this cat orange and burnt umber together with some titanium white, and right under the eye, under the light part right here, there's a little bit of shadow reflection color right here. Okay, now picking up some more cat orange and cat yellow. This is a clean brush this time. And with this more vibrant orange, because yellow makes it more vibrant, 
let's put in some of this reflective highlight color and this will start to build the shine of the eye. Okay, no cleaning yet, and I'm just gonna pick up some raw umber now and some more of this cat orange, and this is a darker sort of brown orange tone here. And with that, let's put that in, and this will help to contrast some of this reflective light that's going on. And again, it builds more, dim ah, more dimension and depth and more realism of this eye. Okay, now just picking up permanent black now, and with that, let's go in and put some of these indications of reflections in here. And this black is really gonna help to contrast against this reflective light, and really to bring in more dimension and definition. Now I'm just going to take some burnt umber now and a little bit of cat orange into that and some titanium white. And I want this very light brown orangey color. And so with this, this is sort of an off reflective color. And as you can see, I took the edge of my flat brush and just did these little hashes through. So that's all I'm doing right there. So I'm just going to put that in in a couple of spots here. And they'll be kind of two rows like so. Okay, so now I'm going to take some cat orange and some cad yellow again. And this is more of a vibrant orange. And again, just here and there, I'm just gonna apply that in some places. Okay, a little bit more yellow now and more white. And a little bit more orange. I wanna brighten as well as make this more vibrant. And again, go back in with that direct reflective color. You know, picking up more permanent black and again, just gonna go back in and redefine some things. Okay, now going back to our vibrant orange by adding yellow into it again and let's go back in again and let's put another coat down and as you know in the acrylic world if you want to make something more vibrant and more saturated then doing more coats will definitely bring that out as well as the colors that also enhance that vibrance. Okay, after some more permanent black there with a clean brush now, raw umber again and phthalo blue in that white. And right up here, I just kind of want to make some hashes here and there that shows a little bit of shadow color play and also helps with that fuzzy line effect, show some bokeh detail. Okay, and again, more permanent black and just going to go back in again. Okay, with more permanent black again and so right here this one is going to be an in focus eyelash you can see the solid line there as i'm bringing that up and this is where the bokeh starts to become really cool because i'm going to take some of these and make them solid and leave some others that are faded and even some of the ones that i'm making solid i'm not making the whole eyelash solid i'm letting some uh, i'm sorry i'm letting some of it be faded into the background and then transition into more solid so with these differences of 
more and less faded and then solid and then some solid and some faded, it's really gonna come together to bring this realism of this bokeh and this photography alive. So now with a clean brush, again, I'm grabbing some red, some raw umber, I'm sorry, burnt umber, and some white and a little cat orange into that. So this is a little bit darker of a color now and I wanna go down this side of the eye right here and I kinda of wanna leave some light stuff at the very top as you see there, just a little bit poking through. And so let's just go down with this value now and down here under the eye with that. And also right here where it's not out in front of the light that's direct against the face, let's put a little bit of that value in right here and then slightly dust that up and blend that into that lighter value up above. And with most of that color off my brush and now just titanium white, I'm gonna have right here under the eye some of this water that's accumulating. And there are gonna be some water drops that are on the eyelashes in a bokeh form because light will be hitting them. So right here is gonna be a lot of light zinging on these water drops there. So I was putting that there for that. So now some orange, some burnt umber, some white. This is gonna make sort of a yellowish glow. And now some more of that orange and a little bit more burnt umber into that, more yellow, and some white to bring that up. So with this sort of glowed, kind of a lighter yellowish color here, let's put that in here. This is gonna show some light indication that's kind of zinging off the face there. Okay, so now more orange, more yellow, more burnt umber, more red. Here's our skin tone color again, more white to bring that up. Let's go back in, and I wanna scratch in some of these things and cut through some of these eyelashes and show some separation and more eyelash strands coming together like so. Okay, now with some raw umber and burnt umber together, that darkens the brown down a little bit. Let's come down here on this side and let's just kind of go through here and create some dimension on the face a little bit and add this sort of shadow color. Okay, back to our skin tone colors. That's the red, the orange, the burnt umber, yellow, some white. And this time there's a little bit more red in this mix because this changes the value a little bit. And let's go down with this value. And with by changing the values like this a little bit, this is what, again, creates more of this dimension and realism and these different changes within the skin as it would in real life. Okay, back to those skin tone colors again, and this time let's add a little bit more cat orange into that and less red. And as you can see, it's more to the orange side now. So just again, varying these values back and forth, building them up, showing more dimension and realism, and let's dust that into that more red value. Okay, with a clean brush now and titanium white, let's go back in and let's put these water drops back on the eye right here. Okay, so now getting some more orange and some yellow together, some titanium white. And I just kinda wanna try something new and vary some of these values on the face here. So I'm gonna put that up here. So this is really just like playing with picture filters. You can really vary these however you want. I would say keep the lighter colors more towards the front where there's more light hitting and that will build better dimension and more realism that way and 3D effect. Okay, back to our background color there. That's the raw umber blue and some white. And let's take this value now and I wanna go over some of these now. As you can, as you can see, it is dusting some of them back and making them more faded. So here's an opportunity where I can bring in some more of these. So let's go back in with some black now. And here and there, but not everywhere, I wanna make some of these solid lines and other ones I wanna keep faded. And even still others, I wanna put a line back in, but I wanna kinda of make it a fuzzy black line as I bring it in more focus. So 
However you wanna play these differences is up to you. Just make sure you mix it up. And I'm telling you, however you wanna to choose to do this, this will pop and contrast between the solid ones and then the faded ones and really bring that bokeh out. So now I've got my number two round brush here and also some matte medium that I'm gonna use to make my colors transparent for some bokeh water drops here that the light's gonna be hitting. So with just a little bit of burnt umber and a little bit of white and barely any color on my brush and mostly matte medium, I'm gonna start making these little circle turns here with my number two round brush here. And as you can see, it's making those water drops up top that look kind of faded and transparent. And thanks to matte medium, this is a good way to achieve that transparency and show some bokeh lights. And this really helps enhance this bokeh out of focus even more. So just here and there, I'm gonna just place some of these water drops on the eyes. And this is to show an indication that maybe the person we're seeing maybe went swimming or went surfing or it's raining or whatever. And there's all this water that's kind of poured on them and their eyes are wet. So these are all going to be in a bokeh fashion some will be transparent and fuzzy and then other ones i'll make solid white and this will also mix up the bokeh effect because in the bokeh world there are solid lights and then there's also fuzzy ones and with those mixes that's really what is going to bring out that realism so just going to go in now with some of that light background color and some yellow to it as you can see that yellow is to help to enhance some of the glow of the light hitting these water drops and I will go back over those and settle those back a little bit. So just here and there, wherever you wanna put these water drops is fine. I'm just gonna kinda of place them all over and again, mix it up with solid and fuzzy ones.
Okay, let's go back to that vibrant orange now and let's take some yellow to that. And now let's make it a little bit brighter with some titanium white and I wanna take another coat now, a little bit more orange into that. That's a little bit more yellow than I want. And let's go back into these reflective light colors here on the eye and let's enhance those and make those pop a little bit more. So now I want to take again some burnt umber and some cad orange and some yellow and white and let's take this more yellow glow color here with some light that's singing off the face here and let's go over some of those eyelashes and fuzz them out a little bit more and show some of that. So now some more orange and yellow and white and let's put some more of those bokeh drops here and just wherever you want to put them and whatever color you choose I would make it similar to the place that you're putting them and put matte medium in and that takes that transparency effect and really enhances that and it really shows more of that bokeh effect that way. Okay so now just pure titanium white with a clean brush and as you can see these are solid ones now and again I want to mix that up with those fuzzy ones and bring out that bokeh realism. Okay, now let's go back into some titanium white and phthalo blue with a little touch of raw umber into that. And let's go right here on the eye and I wanna knock back some of that shallow color and sort of smooth that out just a little bit. Okay, with permanent black now, I'm just gonna re-enhance the ones I want in focus here, just here and there, some of them. And again, you can choose however you wanna do this. Whatever ones you want in focus or out of focus is totally up to you. So just gonna go around the bokeh lights with this black and try not to disturb that too much. Okay, so I'm gonna take a script liner brush now with lots of water and permanent black. I'm gonna sign this piece and I wanna thank you all so much for your support and tuning in. If you found this lesson inspirational and fun and enjoyable and helpful, then don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future lessons I'll be putting out on a regular basis. And give this one a try. This is a very easy, effective way to do some bokeh and to contrast some details. And let me know what your questions and comments are down below. And until next time, happy painting everyone.